Joining me in studio via Zoom today is Tracy Badger, Mel Polischuk with Algonquin Grace Hospice Huntsville here in, in Huntsville. Uh, ladies, thanks very much for taking the time today. Thanks for having us. Thank you, James, for having us. I love the Zoom conversation. It's always a little, you know, there's a little bit of disconnect sometimes there, but that's what we live in with COVID-19 <laughs> right now. Uh, ladies, we're going to be talking a bit about the online auction that just kicked off, I believe, on Monday uh, for Hospice Huntsville. Um, and if you want to take it away and tell me a bit about this auction and, and what people are looking at. Sure. Yeah, I'll actually I'll pass that over to Tracy that she can brief you on what um, our first in our first auction is going to look like. Thanks, Melissa. It is looking to be a great auction. Um, People are utilizing the buyout option for items they really, really want. Um, we have a substantial number of bidders and it's growing hour by hour. So in the last 24 hours, uh, we are over seven grand raised so far. Um, we have a variety of items, 142 items in a variety of budgets. Uh, you can find things, clothing and accessories. There's collectibles and quilts, uh, gift certificates for many, many different uh, restaurants and different uh, services within our community. We've got some beautiful photography. Um, everybody should stop by the photography category. The home decor, um, and none of this would be possible without our wonderful donors, businesses, artisans, individuals who are interested in Hospice Huntsville. So um, a big shout out and a big thank you to our very generous community. Um, a thank you to the volunteers who've navigated the ever changing environment that we live in right at the moment to make all of this possible. Um, we are on biddingowl.com and uh, there are links available in all of our social media channels and, and on the website. Um, Melissa can confirm more of that but it's very easy to register. Um, just go, when you get to the landing page, go to the top right-hand corner and press register and you're in and you can uh, do a little window shopping from the comfort of your home. Mm -hmm. So it's very exciting. Um, we're in just, just over 24 hours. We've been um, up and running and it goes until March 26th. Oh, fantastic. It sounds like there's quite a bit of variety on there, which is uh, always good for an auction, obviously. Uh, Mel, you know, tell me a bit about this. Obviously, this auction is going to be running for a couple of weeks, as I understand. And mm. uh, if you can tell me a bit about the benefits of this as well. Sure. Uh, so this is the first time we've had a, a virtual um, auction. Um, everything is online. Our goal is $20,000 um, that we um, are hoping to raise for Hospice Huntsville. And um, it's really because all of our um, programs and services um, at Hospice Huntsville and of course at Algonquin Grace, our residential hospice, um, depend on our community um, fundraising, our community support with donations. Uh, we have to raise 60% of our operating budget um, every, every year. We're 40% funded, but the 60% we've got to make up for in different um, events such as the online auction. And if you don't feel like bidding on an item, you can certainly make a straight donation uh, directly to Hospice Huntsville. All of the information is on our website um, for that as long and also the links um, for Bidding Owl for the online auction. And um, we always encourage people to, of course, follow us on social media. We have pretty active Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram accounts. Uh, so we're posting some sneak peeks, um, some different featured items. Um, but it's certainly, it's a great way to, you know, share what Hospice Huntsville is all about. Um, and uh, it's a free form of um, advertising itself. But um, we're really excited about this um, auction and we hope that everybody will participate um, in it or um, just share uh, information about it. Well, I, I know it's a trying time for you. I mean, since last year when the Purple Boot campaign was impacted by COVID, we're almost a year <laughs> into it now. Um, you know, it's uh, been a lot of creativity on your side and kudos to you both for coming up with some really creative ideas on how to raise funds. Thank you. Yeah, it um, it's that's very true, James. It has um, you know been 
a year that, um, you know, for everybody, it has been a very different year and it certainly has been a different year for fundraising and we've had to pivot into, you know, different directions for this, but um, we wouldn't be able to do it without um, all the support that we receive from our sponsors um, for the event, like our signature sponsor, Muskoka Medical Center Pharmacy and Campus Trails Pharmacy, and all of our other gold, silver and bronze sponsors. And um, of course, the people that um, support um, Hospice Huntsville, whether you're a volunteer or you make a monetary donation or you're a 500 club member, every single gift um, of time or monetary value is so important to our organization. Fantastic. Ladies, I appreciate you taking the time, Tracy and, and Melissa. Again, uh, you know, I think we, we all know none of this would really be uh, happening without you two working hard behind the scenes. So thank you both for uh, putting in the time and effort. Thank you, James. Thank you for having us on and letting us uh, talk about the auction.